Welcome to the third part of our Sheltered Instruction Strategies series. In this session, we're focusing on lesson differentiation through product. In the previous sessions, we talked about lesson differentiation through content and process. Now we're going to focus on product. If we look at this chart, Again, we can see that there are three ways that teachers can differentiate through content, process, and product. And we talked about all these things in a previous session. Today, we're going to focus on product and the different ways that you can have your students show that they understand the content that you presented. One of the ways that you can find out if a student understood the content is by giving a short assessment. There are many different types of questions that you can have in a short assessment. You can have single choice, multiple choice, true, false, fill in the blank, match the following, match matrix, essay with a single choice, or essay with multiple choice. All right, so then let's look at the can do descriptor. Remember that the can do descriptor lets you know what a student at a certain language proficiency level can do. So this becomes particularly important when you talk about differentiating through product. Because if you know what the student can produce, then you know what to request of the student. For example, a level two beginning student in reading can locate and classify information, identify facts and explicit messages, and select language patterns associated with facts. When it comes to writing, they can make lists, produce drawings, phrases, short sentences, notes, give information, request it from oral or written directions. So what you would do is you would use this in order to create the assignment that you want them to do. So if we're looking at the different domains, we can see that listening and reading are really the domains where they intake information. Speaking and writing are the domains where they output information. When we're talking about product, we're really looking at the speaking and the writing domain. So for the same level two student, this student should be able to ask WH questions, who, what, when, and that student should be able to describe pictures, events, objects, and people they should be able to restate facts. So a level two student might be required to produce something different from let's say a level four student. A level four student would be able to discuss issues, concept, give speeches, oral reports, offer creative solutions to issues and problems. In the writing, they might be able to summarize information from graphics or notes, edit and revise writing, and create original ideas or detailed responses. As you can see, it wouldn't make much sense to give a level two student the same assignment as you would give a level four student, because the level four student is capable of producing much more than a level two student. And so by giving these two students the same assignment, you're setting the level two student up for failure. Let's go over some different assignments that you might use to differentiate through products. Using experiments is a good way to differentiate because different students at different levels will need different amounts of assistance and help. Another way is through art and drawing. Doing an art assignment or drawing is something that doesn't require much language. Assigning students to create poster boards can be an effective way to differentiate through product. Learning songs is an effective way for a language learner to practice the language, and dancing doesn't require language. Oral presentations can be a little difficult. So what you might do in this instance would be for level three, level four learners, they might be expected to present to the classroom but for your level one and level two students, you might want to pair them with an English speaker who also speaks their language. 
and that student might get bonus points for interpreting. This way you can allow the English learner to present in their native language. A diorama is a fun activity that can be used for differentiation. Brochures. Using projects are effective ways of differentiating through product. This works best when you create groups that have students of mixed language proficiency in them. Journals provide a safe space where kids can jot down their notes and answer questions for later review. Student portfolios are a great way for you to keep track of the student's assignments. It gives you a holistic view of the student's understanding of the content. These portfolios can be used to show progress and they can move with the student as they go from one grade to the next. Take a look at this chart. So consider student choice and level. In a reading, instead of a response, you can have a response cube, poster or illustration, retelling, graphic organizer, craft, story arc, or video. In research, instead of a research paper, you can have a flip booklet, digital presentation, Venn diagram, Jeopardy game, website, coloring book, or comic strip. In math, instead of a problem set, you can have a how-to poster, project or craft, a game, student-created story problems, illustrations, or skits. In science, instead of a lab report, you can have photographs, presentations, articles, demonstrations, related experiments, prototypes, and illustrations. Okay, let's take a look at an example of differentiation through product. In this kindergarten unit, we're talking about shapes. So the goal is for the students to demonstrate their knowledge of shapes. Now in the verbal category, if you want to focus on analysis, you can ask a student to sort shapes and identify how they are alike and different. In visual, to demonstrate knowledge, you can ask them to make and label a poster of shapes. For logical, to demonstrate comprehension, you can ask a student to make a graph of shapes seen in magazines. For a naturalist, remember naturalists like to use natural materials. In application, you can ask them to choose a shape and tell or write how you could use it. You can ask them to take a nature walk and identify shapes in nature. And as a musical activity to demonstrate knowledge, you can ask the student to make up a song describing the shapes. So as you can see, all of these different activities in some way demonstrate knowledge of shapes. All right, so let's look at something in a higher grade. This is a third grade unit on the solar system. The goal is to show knowledge of the solar system. As a visual comprehension assignment, you can ask the students to create a travel map of a planet. As a musical application assignment, you can say, compose a song or rap using facts about a planet. For logical analysis, you can ask the student to design a graph comparing temperature, miles from the sun, etc. For intra application, you can ask them to use their journal and write about my travels through space. For an intersynthesis activity, you can ask them to work as a group to create an interview with an astronaut. And if we look at the top, as a verbal synthesis activity, you can ask them to develop a story about traveling to a planet and incorporate 10 facts. Of course, there are hundreds of different ways that we can differentiate through product. But the thing to remember is that different students are capable of producing different things based on their English proficiency level, their academic knowledge. So providing students with different options to show their understanding of the content is a great way to ensure that the students are able to find success in your lesson. Thank you.